Hello, my name is Skylar Peacock. I made a video about six years ago about the SM emulators, about the EMU 700, 7800 emulator, which plays Atari games. Now, what you want to do to play is look up this right here and then choose this one that says GitHub. Push it, and um, there it is. So that's the old symbol and everything from my six-year-old, six-year um, old video. Now push here to go to the GitHub, and push the zip file to download it. Now sometimes it doesn't come up. Push assist, assist. Now this is this is the most recent release. And he it seems like he's been updating this regularly. Twelve days ago, he just go to zip and downloads, and then open it. Now, if you do these other ones, um, they don't work on the PC. I'll show you. So you click this one. Download. Now it will say, yep, yeah, it was blocked. And it could cause harm to your device. Now, this one will kind of say the same thing when you set it up. So you want, so you want to do, so open this up after you download it. You want to extract it. So if you come back to the downloads, see it's a, Zipped. It's unzipped. So you, I have another one here, and that's the other file when you unzip it. So you go here, do extract all. You can even do it this way. You right click it. It'd be easier to do it that way. You can do it extract all. Just save it to right by the downloads. And there it is. All right. Open up. So that opened up this file right here. And there's a symbol, and you just set it up. Now it doesn't take long. Oh, you have it installed. That, but this is the window it comes up as. Windows protect your PC. Uh, so you so you just push more info and then this should pop up running. Uh, this is Windows 10, by the way, I'm using. I don't think the other windows work anymore. I think Microsoft just stopped them all. You have to use Windows 10. Okay, create desktop, which I think I already have. But So it's already using the application, so we'll just I don't want to install it again. But it's a fast installation. There it is on my desktop. So you go here, open it. It looks just like the old version. And then there's actually a lot more games. I'm not sure if they're Atari games or whatnot. But there's a bunch like Amiga. Oh, that's a actually that's a Android game, I think. Oh no. Ugh. I have touch controls enabled. Um, you just click and scroll sideways to go down the menu. This one you can use the wheel mouse. I have all these other ones. My favorite ones, Galaga. I've got control. So you can, this way you do You go to settings. Let me show that again. You go to settings, settings, and then touch controls. Those are on. And this also, you can play with a controller. You can, you can even put the other players. Not sure. Put this on Q. 
keyboard. There is a way to show. Show um, <clears throat> the options. Here, here we go. <laughs> Use F1, F4 to track keyboard input. Okay, we got that. Uh, left and right fire buttons are mapped with C and X on the keyboard. Okay. The two chops that will be in here. Nice, it's working. What you want to do is use the arrow keys to move back and forth. Give them. All right, anyway, you just resume right where you left off, or you can uh, even power off. And then power this mouse. There's just tons of games. There's a Donkey Kong here, I think. Dig Dog. Yeah, the Z and the X button and the arrow keys is how the get through the menu. All right. <laughs> well, that's my video. Thanks for watching.